ongoing investigations of chemicals in consumer products. We're shocked, as probably most people will be when they find out, that chemicals in cosmetics are not regulated. There's no authority for the EPA or the FDA to regulate the chemicals in cosmetics. The chemicals that go in cosmetics are for the most part not tested before they're allowed in the cosmetics. And it's even very difficult to get an accurate listing of the chemicals that are in cosmetics because they hide under things like color and fragrance and that sort of thing. A few years ago, we started obtaining from whatever sources we could lists of as many ingredients in cosmetics and personal care products as we could. And then we matched that against, I think we're up to something like 36 different databases of harmful chemicals from around the world, the U.S., the EU, the UN, the World Health Organization. And by matching up the ingredients that we knew were in these personal care products, just the ones we knew, not the ones that weren't disclosed, mind you, but just the ones we knew, with the databases of harmful chemicals, we were able to come up with a ranking system that says, okay, your skin cream has this many chemicals of concern in it. And the two areas of concern were either known health effects, carcinogen, neurological damage, whatever, or simply this chemical has never been tested. We don't know what the effect of this chemical is. Skin care, hair care, eye care, nail care, baby care, oil care, and fragrance. The resulting database, Skin Deep, we've got the ability where you can go online and search from 25,000 different products to find out exactly what is in them and exactly what we know about the health effects on them. Some of the biggest concerns are mercury, which we know at very low levels can damage brain function, lead, where there's no known safe level of exposure, fragrance-free products, nanoparticles, phthalates, uh, plasticizer chemicals. What we're obviously trying to campaign for is that these chemicals should be regulated the same way that pesticides are regulated or that chemicals in other types of consumer products are regulated. We hope that not just that they will be regulated, but that cosmetic manufacturers will be motivated to get this stuff out of their products. One of the biggest drivers of environmental progress in this country has been disclosure. The sense that if you tell the company you've got to disclose to people what you're putting in your product, people are smart enough to avoid the product if they don't want it. And particularly when you're talking about cosmetics and personal care products that you put on your skin, that you put on your head, that you put in your mouth. We found that the average woman uses something like 12 personal care products a day. The average man, half that. And so each person in this sort of cosmetics and beauty obsessed society is loading uh, literally dozens of either known harmful chemicals or untested chemicals uh, onto our bodies every day. The consumer should not be responsible for protecting themselves. That should be something that government is doing by ensuring that chemicals are safe before they're allowed on the market and ensuring that claims that are made about products are accurate.